Uh, Henry, thanks for having us here at the uh, Broadcom booth for 2015 uh, CES. Why don't you give us a high-level overview of some of the key themes that you're talking about, and then a couple sure. of maybe talk a little bit about the two announcements that you had this week. Certainly. Well, I think from a high level, one of the big themes we were pushing and talking about is the connected digital home, because that is really you know the next wave of the future where all the devices in your home are connected. We have a great demo where you can walk around and simulate going from room to room to room and, and what happens in your connected digital home. So that we'll walk through in a second. Another major uh, announcement that we made is on DOCSIS 3.1, which is the next generation of broadband access to the home over cable which will get you over a gigabit per second to your home up to several gigabits per second. And then the third announcement is a next generation Wi-Fi technology, uh, four by four is called multi-user MIMO, which will get you reliable gigabit throughput in the home. So you get the, the gigabit access over DOCSIS, and then you can distribute that video content with carrier grade quality all around your home with this next generation Wi-Fi. So, those are the three major things we can talk about. Well, Henry, I know, you know, as founder of Broadcom, you've got a lot of favorite children. So maybe walk us through here and we'll maybe just give us a walking tour of some of your uh, hot spots for today and our sure. team will just follow you through. Perfect. Let's walk down here. First do the connected digital home. And uh, it gives you a little bit of a sense here. You're going from you know, room to room to room, but I think that the heart of it is built around your set-top box, which is connected into the carriers, so they can provide you with innovative new services. So for example, you're sitting in front of your living room and your TV set, and you can monitor many different things, like doors that are unlocked, or you could uh, look at the temperatures in any given room, uh, you can turn lights on and off, you can check your alarm status, or when it's ready for bedtime, you hit, you hit the lockdown button on your remote control and the house shuts down, the doors lock, and you, you go to sleep. So it's like a central control room through your set-top box and your TV set, which makes it very easy to use rather than having to go to a dedicated control panel on the wall and set your alarm codes. You just hit, boom, one button and you're done. So that's the wave of the future with the digital home. It's a centralized user interface for people. And another interesting thing you can do, we have these things called uh, Bluetooth beacons that are around the house that can detect when you walk in and out of a room. So for example, you're watching TV in your living room and you get up and you walk into your bedroom, it will know and it'll take the show that's there and put automatically. It on, automatically put it on in your bedroom without you having to do anything. So clever things like that is the wave of the, the future of the digital home. So you talked about two announcements, the DOCSIS 3.0 and, and then the Wi-Fi 4x4 MIMO uh, uh, chip. Where would we see that in this living room setup? It's kind of behind the wall. Yeah. You don't, it's not something visible to the end user. In fact, here is the, the DOCSIS 3.1 demo. But again, we don't but, want to get in the weeds, but generally speaking, it's powering all the devices here. Exactly. It's behind the scenes and it's taking the the video signals from your service provider in Comcast or DirecTV or whatever, delivers it to the home, then it takes that and then through Wi-Fi distributes it to all the devices. You can have a Wi-Fi connected TV set in your room. You just plug in a dongle with a Wi-Fi on it and it'll take the video from your set-top box in the living room and deliver it to your bedroom, for example. Well, the other big theme this year is uh, uh, Internet of Things and wearables, and maybe you could maybe at a high level talk about this intersection of wearables and smartphones and where Broadcom is playing in that space. Sure. In fact, you want to sure. wander over to our section on uh, IoT. So this is our wireless and IoT section of the booth, and you can see here all the different signs talking about uh, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth IoT products. Uh, we have a brand we call Wicked, W-I-C-E-D, -E, which stands for Wireless Internet Connectivity for Embedded Devices, and uh, we have a whole family of products. Uh, we just introduced the uh, NFC product for the automobile, where you can actually use your smartphone to uh, authenticate inside the car, secure authentication. Uh, then we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, IoT products that go into various wearable devices. It's, or you can have Wi-Fi speakers in your home and 
uh, you name it. I mean, it, 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 the applications for the uh, the IoT market are endless, and uh, you know, our goal is just to enable all of that with our platform we call Wicked, so that the small entrepreneur can just innovate away and create all sorts of clever devices. So, you know, we try to be the the software and hardware platform underneath the end product, and uh, we just give a, a whole array of different components as a toolkit that these developers can use to build their products out of. That's right. Henry, thanks for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.